What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the new mode in Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Now, when Sucker Punch announced this, I was really excited and after playing, uh, kind of dipping my toes into it, I haven't got into it a whole lot, I will say it is very enjoyable. There's several different modes or two different modes you can play here. Of course, a co-op mode, which is two players, uh, you and one other person, or a survival mode, which is you and three other players, so four players total. And that's what you're going to see some gameplay of here in the background. Now, I did match make this, so this is with random players. That is a good thing you can match make. And I have played several rounds of this and have really had no issue with matchmaking, matchmaking problems or anything like that, so it does find games and other players pretty quickly. But just overall, the experience is very enjoyable. I mean, I, I wanted to play the game some more, but after you've beaten the game, you're done. You know, some people like to go through with a second playthrough. They did add an option to kind of have a game plus idea there as well. So some people may enjoy that. But overall, I was wanting kind of a new experience, you know, within the game. And this definitely fulfills that kind of, you know, itch to play the game some more. Another great thing about this, in my opinion, is it's something you can hop into and play with friends, play with random people, like I said, match, make it, that kind of thing. And, you know, you can get into it as deep as you want. You know, you can just get in, hop in, play a few rounds here and there. And that is definitely an option. Or you can get in and kind of grind loot, kind of grind gear, that kind of thing. It's not as grindy as some other kind of, you know, looters would be. But you still can hop in and definitely uh, build up a good character, build up a good class to get prepared for that raid when it does release. But overall, I think it's a very enjoyable experience. The one thing I would say that is not quite as enjoyable as the story mode uh, or would have or the story mode is, is the combat. And the reason I say that is because in story mode, you're controlling all the combat scenarios. You're in there by yourself. So you can get some perfect parries. You can get some insane blocks, some great moves, uh, you know, some great assassinations, that kind of thing. But when you're playing, of course, Ghost of Tsushima Legends, there's other players in there with you, other, inter uh, other players in there interrupting the enemies you're fighting, other players throwing bombs down, smoke bombs, that kind of thing. So you will kind of, I guess, get in each other's way is kind of what I'm trying to say at times. Sometimes you can get yourself killed, but while this is going on, sometimes you may get your teammates killed while this is going on. But just overall, the combat experience is not quite as fluid and, and good feeling, I think, as the single player. But of course, I was not expecting, uh, really expecting it to be, considering there are other players there fighting the same enemies that you are fighting. So that is really the only complaint I have, and it's just a very minor thing. So it's not really even a big issue but I did think I kind of was worth bringing up just in case a lot of people are expecting you know going in that kind of same combat feel you do have when you're playing single player the one thing that is interesting to me is the classes I, I find the class setups or the different classes that you can choose to be very interesting but at the same time they don't feel too much different because a lot of them have the same you know style things you can use uh, when it comes to you know everybody has a bow everybody has a katana that kind of thing but at the same time, they do have a lot of different unlocks. And when you look at the different things that you can get for just cosmetics in-game, it is very uh, cool just for every single class that is available. It is a very neat feature to have all of this stuff available for free. It's a very neat feature not to have to pay for any of this stuff. Most games, when they have cosmetics, you know, that's always kind of the microtransaction thing within, you know, just kind of any game you play. You know, if you want some of the cool looking uh, outfits, clothes, armor, whatever the case may be, you have to pay for that stuff. And in this game, you do not. It's all just based on your playtime, uh, your unlocking achievements, challenges, that kind of thing. And you can really deck out your character no matter what class or role you are playing. Overall, I cannot believe uh, this is a free thing to play. This is a great, great add-on for free. And that is probably the biggest takeaway from everything so far, in my opinion, is the the option that uh, I guess Sucker Punch could have gone with of charging for this, and they definitely could have done that, uh, and they did not. And I think this is an amazing uh, addition of content, and we don't even have all the content yet. Who knows what else we may get in the future? We, like I said, we also know there is going to be a raid coming sometime in the next couple weeks. So we have more stuff to look forward to, and I have a feeling Sucker Punch will continue to add stuff to this game, whether it might be story DLC down the road or some more stuff kind of revolving around uh, the whole Ghost of Tsushima Legends idea. But like I said, overall, it's just amazing to me that this is a free experience and it is a very enjoyable experience. So if you've been wanting to play the game some more, definitely hop in and play Legends. It's definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've been playing any since Legends was released. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. 
And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.